here. Um, so I've done some more work on the big, massive, epic, <laughs> eclectic, vintage door stopping journal. And I've created this um, lovely um, double spread um, kind of wallet using faux coffee dyed vellum. <laughs> so it's really rather lovely. I say that a lot on my videos. I don't know where I've got really rather lovely from. It annoys me. And basically, I've put in these vintage postcards, which were free on my Facebook group on Friday. And the joy and the beauty of this is it's mirror image, so it's a double spread. Because it is vellum, or you can use a strong, good quality tissue paper, not the thin stuff, more like tracing paper. Or you could just make follow the tutorial, because I'm going to show you how we made it. And use just normal coffee dyed paper. You can use anything. But if you use something that's opaque, then you can kind of see what's in it. Okay. Um, so, yeah. So, let's shove some more photos in. And then you can see things front and back. Yeah. So, you can see through. Do you get me? So, these don't need any further decoration. So, what I will do with this is it is currently in the centre of a signature. Okay. I'll faff with them ties later. Um, there's just one thing I want to mention before I show you the tutorial. After I'd finished my tutorial, I realised that the circles and the eyelets can actually come through the, if you use vellum. So I went back after the tutorial, I removed my, I had just a circle and an eyelet here, nothing on the back. I went back and I added a further circle to the back before I added my eyelet. It just gives it more strength because if you're using vellum, that part's not in the tutorial. I just wanna add that in. Um, and then what I'll do is, this is the center of a signature, but it's not gonna stay like that. It's probably, I'm probably gonna add some of my pages in here. And then when you're going through the journal, you've got one there and then you blah, 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 you're moseying along and you've got the other one there. So if you want to see how it's done and how I made it, um, grab a brew and follow the tutorial. See you soon. Hello everyone, Amanda here. So I'm still on with this journal. It's become the bane of my life at the moment. <laughs> I'm still on with it and I've seen a lovely idea that I want to try. Um, it's quite a basic idea, but we're going to use coffee dyed vellum. Now, I have not coffee dyed this vellum. <laughs> I've run it through my printer with a coffee dyed print. Okay, so I've got two pieces. So, let me just have a think what we're going to do. So, I'm going to fold it in half. And the good thing with this is you only need to, obviously, you don't need to turn it over. So, I think I like that print. Um, which way shall we have it? I quite like that way. Right, so I'm going to fold it in half first and then make sure that it's going to be the right dimensions to go in my journal. So let's have a look. Yeah, it's not going to protrude top and bottom and it's not going to stick out. Okay, so what I want to do is... To, <gasps> I don't know. Um, I do know. I'm only kidding. I'm going to make some kind of pockets on here. And obviously, because it's vellum, it means whatever goes in, we're going to be able to see. Because you'll be able to see through it. Okay? So, um, and then we're going to do some closures. So, let me just have a think. And let me get my ruler. My ruler is here. Okay, let's have a look. So, this page measures... What do we want it at? About five and a quarter. I don't want it to go right up to the crease mark because obviously it's going to be within a signature. So you've got that bit of bulk. So I don't want it any bigger than five and a quarter. So let me just think five and a quarter. Halfway is two and a half plus an eighth. So it's about there, two and three eighths. Um, I'll never think. Okay. I'm just going to put a pencil mark roughly. I'm going to do like a flap and then a pocket. So I want my pocket to go from about there 
to about the let me think and I want my flap to go to there okay so I want my pocket to be three and three quarters three and three quarters pocket and then I want my flap to be about two two minimum yeah two it could probably do with being a bit more than two I would say let me just work it out I would actually say two and a quarter so two and a quarter right so let's get cutting so I want so these are the same size in you know height so and i want to make one for each side so let's see if i can get it all out of one sheet otherwise i'll have to print another one so three and three quarters three and three quarters that's one three and three quarters i don't know if i'm gonna have enough and then two and a quarter i'm gonna have to print another for the other side which i'll go away and do after so <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to attach that there and then we're going to have a flap there okay i should really have folded that let me just think should really have folded it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to fold my page instead because i've not added enough on to fold the flap so i'm just going to fold my page over just ever so slightly maybe a quarter of an inch it should be enough yeah and then my flap can attach on there okay so i'm just going to round the corners on this let me get my corner rounder uh, we're having quarter of an inch, quarter of an inch. Uh, do I want it rounder than that? I think I want it more round than that. Let's go for half. That's better. Half an inch. So about right. Doesn't seem to like this vellum. There we go, that's better. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sew that edge there just for decoration and I'm also going to sew this onto this flap here. So I'll just go and do that and then we'll be back. Came back and whilst I was away I cut another flap for the other side. Okay, so these are going to be our pockets, they're going to go here. So let me just trim all of this excess threads off some people like it it drives me bonkers so i'm gonna just have to just trim that and then before i attach the pockets we're gonna do our closure because it will be difficult to do once it's all constructed okay um i mean you could do this idea with just normal paper i just thought it was more interesting to do it with this full coffee dyed vellum <laughs> we're cheating and we're printing it i've never actually coffee dyed vellum i don't know what vellum goes like when it's wet um i don't know if it had well it would soak on if you if you left it long enough because i've done baking paper and that's only the same so that's not on perfectly straight but never mind the sewing looks messy. I'm not going to win any awards for going around corners, but it's a vintage journal. So it doesn't matter if you're not the best at sewing. If you don't sew it on straight, that one went too bad. That one I went wonky. I just did another row. And, you know, it doesn't matter if your sewing's loopy and it looks rubbish. <laughs> because you're adding to the look, okay? When it's vintage, you can get away with things not being perfect. Right, so these are going to go here. We're not going to go right up to the crease. We're going to go just away from the crease. Okay, and then this is going to go here. So I need to work out where my closures are going to go before I glue them down. Okay, so I'm going to measure. I'm going to have to measure because if it's not in the middle, it'll drive me bananas or more bananas. 
Okay, fair enough. So I've centralised that. It's not quite eight because I've done just under, but four is there. And sorry if you can hear my dogs, it's Dwala. So everybody's setting fireworks off again. And they don't like it. It's that simple. So one there. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to punch my hole for that one. Where's my hole punch? And then if I can get my... Oh, my hole punch is not going to go up that far. Right, okay. I'm going to have to do it a little bit further down than I planned because that mark is higher up. Then I wanted it. Sorry about the dogs. Just bear with me while I go and sort them out. Okay, sorry about that. Um, it is what it is. It's not a right lot I can do about it. So what I'm going to do to make my life easier, because I've already marked out that one, I'm just going to hold the two flaps together and I'm going to punch the other one in the same place. Then I know they're fairly even. So it's about that. All right, so that's those. So let's set those eyelets now. And then it's done. Um, I'll go for these cheap and cheerful ones I got from overseas. They don't squash brilliantly, but it's just a junk journal. It doesn't matter. So it doesn't matter if things aren't perfect. It, 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 oh, they're going to start. They're going to start barking. Fireworks are going mad. I'll just pause a moment. Okay, the show must go on. <laughs> um, right, so that one in there. And then set that. Okay, so those are my eyelets set. So now I need to do my pockets so i'm gonna hold my pocket as if it's glued okay and determine where i want this one needs to be at least there okay pencil mark and where's my other pocket for the other side my other pocket for the other side, just away from there. Hold that down. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure from the centre of there to my pencil mark. It's about one and three quarters. So I'm going to hold this close to the edge, just doing it by hand. Okay. Measure from the centre of there. Very distracting with the dogs barking, I am sorry. They're perfectly fine, they just, um, well, they just don't like it, do they? But you comfort them as much as you can and they don't take it, then they still carry on barking. <laughs> they still carry on barking. It makes no difference what I do. If I sit and cuddle them, if I give them treats, it makes absolutely zero difference. Right, now, I bet I'm not going to be able to... I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to have to use my big bite. I keep forgetting I've got this. <laughs> I keep thinking I've only got this and I'm limited with that depth, but I've got this, haven't I? Oh dear. Right, so let's get this. Uh, what setting am I on? I'm on the eyelet setting. Yep, that's that one. Put it over there. Punch my hole. I'll do this one. Punch my hole. Okay. Are we right there? Yep. Yeah. And set my eyelets. I'll set my eyelets and then calm my doggies down again. I'll be back again in a minute. Sorry about the toing and froing. Okay, eyelets set. So now I just need to put my pockets in place 
Of the right and the right way around. Does it really matter which way around they are? I can't remember now which way they were meant to go. I don't suppose it matters. They're about the same distance either way. I will have it that way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a very thin bead of glue. Very thin bead of glue. And then I'm going to spread it out with my finger. I'm going to do it on the sewing part so that hopefully... It doesn't show too much on the other side. Okay, and I'm just going to glue top and bottom and see what it looks like, first of all. See if it shows through horribly. If it shows through horribly, then we might have to just carry on sewing. <laughs> <gasps> whilst trying not to lose my rag at everybody and the ranter setting off fireworks and driving my dogs bonkers which in turn drives me bonkers um, let's have a look see if that'll see if that shows see that glue is not showing if you spread it out so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take it off really quickly before it dries and I'm going to glue three sides if you spread it out you use a clear drying glue that dries fast it shouldn't show okay the fact that we've printed on it is going to help us all right okay oh, i've got glue on there i don't want glue on there let's do it i've got glue on my vellum i don't i don't really want it showing on places where we don't want it showing let's see if i can scratch it off there we go right so this is not going to be a true pocket because there's no gussets, but it's going to be a fun tuck and we can put things in such as, for example, the photographs that were a free bit on my group. Okay, these are free on my Facebook group. Um, I gave them out last Friday. No, Friday gone. I don't know when you'll see this video. Depends if I'm locked up in a mental asylum. Um, from listening to fireworks and dogs barking and trying to video at the same time. It's just not it's just not good, is it? But, you know, time's uh, of the essence and all that. So whatever you put in that, clearly you're going to see through it, aren't you? So it's going to be fun. All right. So let's see how we're having this one now. So again, not right up to the... You want to leave that clear. Yeah, see, that's not right. It wants to be that way. That way, there we go, see? So make sure you've got them the right way. And then glue on three sides and spread it out with your finger so that it doesn't show. I'm just hoping we don't start getting cars' horns blaring and things because it's Diwala. Because that's typically the next stage of the celebrations. Not that people shouldn't celebrate, but just, you know, just not when I'm trying to film. <laughs> just, uh, it's not on. <laughs> Stuff to do. Right, so let's uh, glue that on there. Okay. Like I said, it'd be nice to sewn, completely sewn all the way, but uh, I'm trying to do it a quicker way. And not everybody's got a sewing machine. You don't have to sew everything. You could do four stitching with a black pen. That would look good. If you could use a sharper, black sharper, and do some just like four stitch lines, lines and dots, or whatever. It'd look just as cool. Okay, so then we want some of this. Okay. And we're going to wrap it. How much do I need? Absolutely no idea. I'm, I'm literally winging it now. Okay. And of course, that's got tangled. Right, let's move that out of the way. So we're gonna put some, no, we'll put stuff in it. We'll put it in the journal first. Okay, so let me bring my journal and let me see where I want it because I've done the Midori style binding. I can add and remove things as I please. I think I'll just have it here, okay? So all I've got to do is just stretch those elastics a little bit. Uh, have I got an envelope on that one? 
Let's just move that envelope. Yeah. Let's just feed it through. Yeah. Feed it through and then we've got one on each side, see? How cool is that? And then you don't really need to decorate this side because it'll be fun to see. You know, if you put some things in facing this way, some things in facing that way, it'll be fun to see. I might go back and I might sew... When the glue's dried, I might sew there and there, just so that it looks nice and finished, okay? But let's just get cracking. Right, so let's fill it with some of these postcards that I gave away free on my Facebook group. So um, some that way, some this way. Yeah, we'll just fill it up with some of them. Okay, on that side. I'm getting in a hot mess here. I'm getting all flustered. Okay, and then some on this side. So we've got this one that I altered. Face her that way. What else have we got? That one. And we'll have that one. And my glue's not dry. I think I will definitely go back and sew those. My glue's not quite dry yet. Okay, come on and dry, pesky glue. Right, so now all we need to do is just add our twine. Okay, so put it around here. Okay, I always end up fingers and thumbs with this bit. I don't know why. I'm just going to, my hands don't want to tie knots these days. They really don't, they don't want to communicate, uh, communicate, cooperate is the word I'm looking for. Get that under there like so and then all you need to do is just wrap it around. Okay. And then you could obviously decorate it further. I'll make that look more elegant. Shall we go that way? Shall we do it like that? Maybe I'm doing it a little bit tight because it's only vellum. There you go, that's better. Yep. Oh, come on now, that's ridiculous. My hands don't want to work. Right, I'm just going to leave it like that because my hands aren't working. <laughs> I don't know why they're not working. Right, where's the other side of this pesky thing gone now? Uh, where are you? There you are. And then we do the same at the other side. And how cool is that? I think that's really fun. Um, I might add some paper clips to it. You could add some stamping to it if you used something like archival. My hands feel like sausages. Like they don't want to communicate with my brain at all. Okay. All right. And then we'll just wrap that around there. Okay. I think my eyelet's come undone on that one. I think I've pulled it too tight and pulled the eyelet out. I'll fix it. And that just wraps around there. My hands don't want to work. Right. So there you go. You get the idea. It's going to look cool. <laughs> Even though I've made it look difficult. But see, when you fold it over, you can see what's in the other side. So I'll continue to sew it and decorate it. I'm still on with this epic journal, so follow along, make sure you're subscribed, all of that good stuff, and uh, I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.